the day of the crash, I, uh, I was feeling tired, fatigued. I drove to work. I was almost there. Cat ran out in the road, and I, I swerved and missed the cat, and with the slow reactions, uh, hit a lamppost instead, head on. The toll the crash has had on my life, I wouldn't wish on anyone else. I woke up in the hospital 10 days later, and eventually found out that I uh, had severe head injuries. I had split my nose in half, split my palate in half. Um, I lost the sight in one eye. Uh, both cheek, cheek bones shattered, separated the jaws, knocked a few teeth out, fractured skull, bruised brain, bleeding on the brain, collapsed lung, uh, nerve damage to the right arm. Yeah, the list goes on. My two sons uh, went through a very hard time adjusting. Uh, my youngest son, Tim, when I first came home from hospital, hid under the bed and uh, wouldn't, wouldn't face me, so it took um, a few days uh, to, for me and my brother to coach me out of the bed and actually had to hold him and uh, face him up to me and show him the tattoos and everything else until he realised that I was actually his father, so that's something uh, I'll, I'll never forget. And the impact of that afterwards was uh, readjusting and multiple surgeries. But at the start, it's, it's really hard, yeah, peripheral vision. You go park next to a car and you think you're about to hit it, and you get out and you're about five feet away and down. Oh, here we go again. Uh, I had a problem, a lot of problems after the crash going out in public because of the appearance and because of people's reactions, uh, kids laughing, uh, staring, uh, adults making uh, rude comments and things like that. So I decided to, to, to become a bit of a recluse. The toll the crash has had in my life is um, uh, confidence in being out in public. Uh, it's cost me quite a few jobs uh, through aggression, through the, the acquired brain injury. Um, I've had quite a few relationships as well, but uh, yeah, a lot, lot of hard years, hard years on, on, on my sons as well. They had a very hard time, my family had a very hard time. If I could turn back the clock the day of the crash, uh, I wouldn't have got behind the wheel of my car. I was feeling fatigued, a bit tired being a shift worker, and there's no way in the world I would have drove to work that day if I had a, a second chance. The younger you are, the longer you have to live with it. Please drive carefully. Authorised by the State Government, Perth.